What is up, guys? Okay, so a few different things going on. Um, as you guys know, I've been, uh, you guys may run. I don't know. I've been doing a little bit of bow hunting here and there. I actually went out this last weekend we just had, and we seen quite a few. I ended up spooking the ones that I had a shot at. Um, stood up in the stand, kicked an arrow out of the stand by accident, and spooked off two or three. And then that next day, my little brother shot. Well, he snuck up about 50 yards in open field to one, shot it at about 22 yards, and then we had to track it and yeah, all that. Um, and then yesterday, no, Monday, I went back out, back behind my house, and I walked back to the spot I normally sit. And I guess there's some already back there, and I spooked up about two or three of them. Um, so, yeah, and actually, before I made this video, I just got a text from my dad, and it said nothing to it, with, like, dots after it. I was like, what What does he mean? So I clicked on it, and apparently he sent me a picture, and he sent me another picture of his deer. Um, so, and he shot it at 20 yards with his bow. My bow was set up for 15, 25, and 35 yards at 55 pounds. So that would have been an easy, that would have been a no problem shot for my bow. Just... I don't know, it sucks, man. I haven't gotten a deer this year, and it's it's killing me. I've had so many opportunities, just haven't gotten them and haven't taken them, which I guess is my fault, but, um, yeah. But anyways, I'm going to make a video today about how to be an actual gentleman and how to get a girlfriend in the right way. I know I said I'm 15, but I was raised right by my dad, and I've got the proper manners and... Stuff like that. So maybe for those of you guys that don't maybe have all of that or want to learn from a little bit of it. Or just need some tips or something on how to get a girlfriend. Then you guys can watch this. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. And hopefully you guys enjoy this one. So, what do you okay, let's get into this. Okay, so today's video, like I said, it's going to be about on how, how to be a gentleman and like how to be like polite, respectful, and how to get a girlfriend and all that stuff. Um... So you guys don't know, me and Abby are still dating. Um, she's been in a few of the fishing videos and stuff. And we've been together over seven months now. I believe today is the 16th. Our seven months was on the 11th, so that was five days ago. So it's been seven months and five days now. So let's kind of get right into it. Um, so the first thing on how to be a gentleman, obviously, is like... <laughs> it's like holding the door open, but you don't always have to do that. I mean... It's a polite thing to do, and, you know, you're holding the door open, or, like, you know, I mean, okay, so, there's two things, you can either open the door for the girl, and hold it open, and then close it behind her, or you can just hold the door open, and a lot of guys mainly tend to just, like, they'll open the door as, like, the girl's walking behind them, and they'll hold it, or, like, they'll hold the door for the girl to go by, nobody really over, if they're in a car, the guy will never walk around and open the door, and let her out if that makes any sense. So if that's something that you want to do and you're okay with doing that, go for it. I mean, this is for like, I mean, if, if you guys are dating, I mean, if you guys are just like friends and you're just riding around, I mean, you can still do it. I mean, it might work. I don't know. Um, and then, so for nothing for being a gentleman is just like, like being like, like very respectful is a big thing because no girl and like really nobody out there wants to be disrespected or feel like they're being disrespected by anybody. And I'm pretty sure if a girl feels like a guy is disrespecting her, she's not going to date him. That's just kind of common sense and simple facts. My hat back on. It's actually not my normal hat. I don't know where my normal hat is at. Um, so, yeah, sorry about that. Um, so, like, also for, like, respect if, you know, you guys are dating and you guys have been dating. You guys want to take it to the next step and you guys know what I mean by that. Or just anything and the girl says no respect it don't try to push it don't do nothing like that if you're asking her you know hey do you want to do this she says no don't push it if she says like if you say do you want this or anything where she says no or she has an answer respect it don't get mad at her answer because that's just how it is i mean that's you go too far and you don't listen to her you're going to be put in jail and you're probably going to go from this to this if you know what i mean but that was probably a really bad joke. And I'm probably going to get demonetized for it. But if you guys know what I mean. So it's going to happen. Um, and then just like. I guess in another way you could. is So it's certain. For, I don't know for you guys that are. Whenever you guys are going to watch this. But right now it's kind of fall. 
It's like October 16th or something like that. Yeah, it's October 16th. It's also bow season, but um, anyways. It's going to be chilly. It's going to be cold. So if you guys are watching this and you know you're hanging out with your girlfriend or, you know, whatever. Then if you got a hoodie on or a jacket or whatever and she does it and she starts getting cold, give her your jacket and your hoodie. You don't, you don't have to ask her. Just hand it to her. And you might be cold, but I can guarantee you you're going to be a lot better off with you being cold and her still loving you than her being pissed off at you and you being warm. Trust me, it's not fun. It does, it's not worth it. You don't want that. It's it's just a lot of pain. Um, and so, I mean, obviously any girl wants to feel like they're worth something and like they're the only girl in the world. So I'm not saying that you got to go out and just get rid of every single female that you ever have ever met and it's ever in your life. But I'm just saying, like... Make them feel like make them feel safe. Like make them feel secure and all that. And then you know, obviously make them feel like they're worth something. And I can tell you, no matter who you are, every girl is worth something to somebody. No matter who it is, every girl and every person was put on this earth, put on this earth for some reason. And all you gotta do is figure that out. That's all you gotta do. Figure it out and. Maybe that guy can help you do that, you know, maybe as, as the boyfriend or whatever you need to help your girlfriend Figure out what she's worth and you guys gotta do it together Um, and kind of along with that is like being nice to her and standing up for her. It's kind of a saying or like a little quote thing I really quote, but it's like a little bit of a thing I read for a long time ago And it's something about like I'll I'll defend her in public But like I'll talk to her about her or something like that in private as in even if me, and my, if me and my girlfriend were walking around and somebody said, what's 2 plus 2 and she answers 6, I'm going to stand up for her. I'm going to agree and say, no, the answer to that is 6. And then once we get home or whatever, or we're by ourselves, I'm like, no, babe, you know, it, it was 4, but, you know, it's whatever. I'm going to stand up for her in public and then I'll, I guess, criticize her, if you want to say, in private. I don't know. But then, you know, another thing, if you guys are dating, just put the girl first. And I know some people don't like that because they're selfish, and nowadays everybody's a jackass and only cares about themselves. But if you're dating somebody, you're going to need to be willing to put them before you and make sure that they're warm and they're, you know, safe. And they've got food before you worry about anything like that with you. So that's the whole gentleman part that's about how to be a gentleman there's a lot more to it than that but those are kind of just that's just the gist of why i would do it and i can if you're if you're raised the way that i was you'll understand that there's a lot more than just those simple little things that are kind of cliche and that everybody knows um so like kind of how to get a girlfriend was kind of like the other i guess topic of the video that we're doing and you know you want to like talk to the girl a lot like don't like overdo it like don't sit there and talk to her every single minute of every single day but you get the chance to and she wants to talk to her it don't you always know, gotta be oh well you start the conversation well hi beautiful no you don't gotta know that just kind of ask her how her day was and just create normal conversations and you're gonna it's gonna go a lot farther than making a lot of weird ass comments because it's just yeah and then kind of along with that compliment them but like don't overly compliment them to where you i don't know just don't do that and then, you just kind of got to do that. Like, you just kind of got to compliment them. Because if you don't compliment them, they're not going to know that you like them. And they're not going to have, like, I guess, catch feelings for you if they have no reason to. Like, no one's just going to walk up like, well, I'm going to catch feelings for that person because I want to. That's not, that's not how that works. But, you got to do that. But kind of along with that, like, you don't want to be a leech because in this sense, if everybody knows what a fucking leech is, and that's something that sticks on your skin, you can't get it off, and it hurts like how to get off. Um, don't be that guy. Don't be the guy that's constantly following her around. Like you guys are just friends. You guys aren't even dating yet, so don't be following her around, walking everywhere she's going, and just following her. That's creepy as shit. And kind of, I guess, along with that is, don't be creepy and go too far. Because you can be creepy by overly doing all of those things I just listed, and you can go too far with them. And once you go too far, it gets to be creepy. It's even with guys. I'm not going to lie. It's even with guys. If a, if a girl and a guy are talking, and the girl's doing too much of every one of the things I just listed, it's going to get really creepy. And a lot of the guys handle it a lot worse than the girls do. I know that I do. So then you got, like, don't be mean. That's kind of an obvious. You can ask my girlfriend if you, if you guys know her. I'm a dick. I can be a really big dick. But it's not in any 
reason to make her mad or upset her. Just I'm I'm just naturally a dick, I guess. I don't know. But don't be mean to her. Don't be a dick. I mean, obviously, you know, a lot of guys, they'll kind of play around and they'll be kind of assholes to them. And sometimes there goes like that. You know, sometimes they do. But don't go too far. Like, I just kind of explained everything else. Well, there are a lot of, everything I'm about to list here, don't go too far with it. And then, I guess the, the last one for this one would be like, when you are hanging out with her and you are spending time with her and this and that, and you guys are getting to hang out, chances are... If you guys are just friends and you guys are like, I guess, you know, you're trying to get with her. Chances are she's not, it's not going to be just you and her. It'll be, you know, you and your friends and her. Or most of the time it's going to be her, her friends, and you. So try to like hang out with her and then hang out with her friends and just get along with all of them. I'm not saying you got to like love all of them and you got to be like best friends. But at least like... Respect the girl you're trying to get with and respect all of her friends because if her friends like you The chances of you guys getting the better instead getting together and staying together are a lot higher Than what it would be if their friends hate you So trust me on that one. I know But I don't care so You just kind of take in everything I've said with all of this stuff um if you guys got any type of suggestions about other things that I should add or Anything or any type of like video suggestions you, I should add then let me know and then I can do them uh, If you guys like kind of learned anything from this or you know you guys can take something away from it go ahead and like it like this video you can subscribe to the channel if you really feel like it and I Don't know. I mean you guys hit the bell icon if you really feel like it. you don't have to you can do it if you want to And if you guys do that's awesome. I'm gonna get back out and go bow hunting some more so, hope you guys have a great day, listen to this video, take some stuff out of it, and hopefully you guys can get yourself a girlfriend like I do. I love my girlfriend, and she's absolutely fucking amazing, so hopefully you guys can get your girl like that. Who knows? So, thank you guys, and listen to what I said, maybe you guys, maybe you guys it'll turn out, and if not, then it's my fault, I apologize, but who knows, you gotta go for it and try. Thank you guys for watching this video. Like I said, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you guys want to get more videos out, and have a great day.